The Nile is the mother river of Egypt. About 95% of the Egyptian population lives within 18 kilometers of the river. The great civilization of ancient Egypt might never have existed without the silk fertilizers brought by the Nile and its regular flooding. As a regulator of this lifeline, the Aswan High Dam is seen as the most important project constructed in Egypt in the past 200 years, aside from the Suez Canal. Thanks to the Aswan High Dam, the annual flood of the Nile is completely under human control for the first time in history. It not only provided water for the reclamation and irrigation of hundreds of thousands of hectares of new land, but also provided about 50% of the electricity resources for Egypt in the last century. As one of the largest dams in the world, the Aswan High Dam is 3,830 meters long, nearly 1,000 meters wide, and 111 meters high. This massive engineering project started in 1960 and was completed in 1970. The amount of earth and stone is equivalent to 17 Great Pyramids of Giza. This is a picture taken by astronauts on the International Space Station with a high-powered camera from space. The Aswan International Airport on the west side of the High Dam and the winding shoreline of Lake Nasser on the south side of the High Dam are clearly visible. What I'm sharing in this video is a modern architectural monument that is overlooked by most tourists. It is the Arab-Soviet Friendship Memorial Tower on the west bank of the Aswan High Dam. The participants in the High Dam project were the Soviet Union and the United Arab Republic formed by Egypt and Syria. The Soviet Union provided more than $1 billion in loans, a large number of technicians, and heavy machinery for the construction of the Aswan High Dam. As an important part of the High Dam project, this memorial tower commemorating the friendship between the two countries was unveiled to the public together with the High Dam on January 15, 1971. Looking back on history, it has been more than 30 years since the collapse of the Soviet Union. And this memorial monument, jointly built by Soviet architects Peter Pavlov, Yuri Amalchenko, and sculptor Nikolai Vechkinov 50 years ago, has long been forgotten by most people. According to statistics, less than 50 of every 1,000 international tourists who visit Aswan have visited the High Dam, and less than 5 of these 50 international tourists have climbed the obelisk of modern Egypt. Few were even more aware of the artistic details of this architecture. In my opinion, this building is not only a historical testimony of the friendship between Egypt and the Soviet Union, but also a great public artwork that combines elements of Soviet constructivism and Egyptian characteristics. It is as important as Aswan's many ancient Egyptian era sites and well worth a visit. The main building of the monument is shaped by the lotus flower representing the Upper Egypt area where Aswan is located, which is simple and elegant. Five lotus petals as high as 70 meters stretch from the ground to the sky, and a circular viewing platform 46 meters above the ground is placed in the space enclosed by the five petals. Its shape is a gear that symbolizes industry. There is also a secret hidden here that most people don't know. At that time, Soviet architects deliberately integrated the elements of the Soviet flag and the Soviet Communist Party badge, sickle, hammer, and five-pointed star into the design of monuments and dams. This secret can only be discovered from an aerial perspective. The picture below is the five-pointed star logo of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union on the Tower of the Kremlin during the rule of the Communist Party. For your better understanding, I made an animation demo. The passage to the monument and the ground in the flagpole area form the shape of the hammer. The curved shape of the dam itself symbolizes the sickle. The five lotus petals that make up the main structure of the monument are located in the center of the five-pointed star pattern on the ground like a lotus flower blooming from the five-pointed star. It symbolizes the nourishment of the Soviet Union to Egypt.